300 murders so far this year. Candidates for mayor say things have to change. They talked to us today about what they would do to help make our streets safer. City Council President Brandon Scott is renewing his call for a comprehensive crime plan. We cannot, as elected officials, shake this responsibility. 300 murders in Baltimore is unacceptable, and we have to do all that we can do to address that problem. Scott says there will be a hearing on his bill Tuesday, 4 o'clock at City Hall. It calls for the Mayor's Office of Criminal Justice to present a comprehensive violence reduction plan to the city every two years. Ed Merrill candidate and lawyer through Vignaraja has his own crime plan, which includes 20 initiatives to tackle crime. It includes aerial surveillance, 12 simultaneous wiretaps in the deadliest neighborhoods in Baltimore City, and a college cadet program to get more officers on the streets. The kinds of things that are concrete and actionable that give a little bit of confidence to the people of Baltimore that we actually know what we're doing. He says ending the bloodshed is his top priority. And former city police spokesman T.J. Smith lost his own brother, Dion, to gun violence back in 2017. And he says it's been violent for a long time in our city. Something needs to be done and now. It's the fierce urgency of now. Um, we, we don't have time. I mean, who, who, you, who you tell and give time to? Who, who, we, we give time and let our children walk the streets and hope and pray that they come home? or have confidence that they're coming. Well, he says we if the plan isn't if working, the plan you, have isn't working you have to adjust right then and there.